and Homo sapien 2.0. According to a researcher at the Global Brain Institute, a completely new human species will inhabit the Earth in just over 30 years. Now, this evolutionary step could be comparable to the transition from apes to humans. So, what kind of people will we become? Well, they say our biological clocks will undergo dramatic changes, which will allow us to live longer and give birth at an older age. And of course, technology will continue to make our lives easier. All kinds of microchip implants will be placed in our ears and our fingers. And microchip implants will be placed in our ears and our fingers and make many devices completely obsolete. But this dependence on technology has its drawbacks, of course. In the future, humans are going to have to compete for jobs against, you guessed it, machines and cyborgs. And since most of the work will already be done and automated by robots, a sedentary way of life will ultimately take over and make us all a little bit bigger. This evolutionary step could be comparable to the transition from apes to humans. So what kind of people will we become? Well, they say our biological clocks will undergo dramatic changes, which will allow us to live longer and give birth at an older age. And of course, technology will continue to make our lives easier. All kinds of microchip implants will be technology has its drawbacks, of course. In the future, humans are going to have to compete for jobs against you guessed it, machines and cyborgs. And since most of the work will already be placed in our ears and our fingers and microchip implants will be placed in our ears and our fingers and make many devices completely obsolete. But this dependence on tech and Homo sapien 2.0 According to a researcher at the Global Brain Institute, a completely new human species will inhabit the Earth in just over 30 years. Now,